Today, I'm going to be showing you how to easily create and edit data using Profile Service. Profile Service was created by Lawlerus, but I made some changes to make it simple to add, remove, edit, and erase data from players. So if you want the model, you can go on my Discord server, go in Video Models, and get it from there, download it. And then once you download it, you can go into your files and drag it into Explorer, and then it'll show up in this folder right here. If you want to support me, you can buy the plugin and get it there and all the other models, but you don't have to buy the plugin for this model but that's just to support me so once you drag it in there you'll have this profile service folder and inside you'll have a profile service script and a get data function so put the script in server script service put the get data in replicate storage now to use this is really simple so let me just clear this quick so in here your profile template at the top this will be the player's data by default so their coins by default is going to be 100 you can remove that if there's nothing in here they'll have nothing in their data so you can do that um you can add gems equals zero so they'll have coins and gems by default and that's how you add data that you want the player to have by default you can add an inventory tour equals table so this table will be their inventory and you can add stuff onto that later on so in this extras folder you have settings and there's three settings in here create data folder if this is true then it'll create a folder inside of the player which stores all the values like string values and number values and display data folder if this is true then it'll display on the player list up here show how much coins and stuff they have if it's false then it won't and if it's false then the folder name will be this folder name right here so set this to whatever you want the folder name to be if you don't want it to display them but if this is true then it will be called leader stats because that's what needs to be called to display so since i have this true and true it'll display it and i have gems and coins right here so i'm just gonna click play and you see i have my gems and coins like that and then here i have this like that and i can set this to 200 i can leave and then i can play so once i have that set up i can go in here i have gems and coins i can go in here these chats of my gems and coins like that and i can leave and they'll save and everything but with this you want to edit them using the module instead of editing the value directly so i'm going to show you guys an example so if i create a new script and I do game dot players dot player added connect function um, player. So that's going to be the player. So local module equals, and then we're going to require this loaded module. This is the main module for everything you need. So module equals script dot parent dot profile service dot loaded. So it'll be this script dot loaded. Require that. So require that. Now there's a bunch of functions. If you go in here there's create stats update folder increase stats deduct stat update stat add to table add the dictionary move from dictionary add stat and erase data these are pretty straightforward so if i want to add coins i can just do while task dot wait five do so every five seconds everything inside of this is going to run so i can do module dot um increase stat player coins 100 so you put the player that you want to increase their stats and you put the stat name and then you put the number so if you go in here and wait five seconds it'll increase our coins by 100 so we have 200 coins and then wait five more seconds we'll have 300 coins and then if we stop and click play we still have 300 coins now if we do deduct stat it's the same thing so if we go in here and do deduct stat player coins 100 every five seconds our coins will decrease by 100 so like that now i'm going to add some values in here i'm going to add like a test dictionary and a test table so i'll do test diction dict equals and then i'll do test one equals true test two equals false 
and then I'll do test table equals and then I'll do test one test two so we'll have a dictionary with test one test two and then we'll have a table so we can do module dot add to table player and then table name is test table make sure it's spelled exactly how it is in here and then the value you want to add to the table I want to add um, test three so I'm gonna add test three to this table I'll do task that wait five just to make sure everything is loaded and then I'll print the data so to get the data you just do module dot get data player so I can just print this and make sure you do or yeah you don't have to do dot data just do that and then make sure you print it and then after five seconds you open this and test table will have test three in there when it was test two by default and let me go back in here and show you the dictionary is still the same so you can see it added test three again because we have it to add that in the text dictionary we have the same dictionary so if we want to add to the dictionary it's a bit different but it's pretty much the same thing we can just do module to add to dictionary player and then the dictionary name which is test dictionary name will be the name of the value so we'll just do test three and then the value you want that to be i'll just set it to 100. you can set this to a bool value you can set this to a string value you can set this number value because the dictionary it can be anything so we go in here and it's going to print that and we go to our text dictionary and then we have test three which is equal to 100. and then to remove it you just do module dot remove from dictionary player test dic dictionary and then test three and then it will move it from that that's how you remove it and then we have erase data so if we go here and do module dot erase data player and click play after five seconds it'll erase all this data it'll just delete everything and then you see it's empty and then when we rejoin your data will go back to what the default data is now we have add stat so we just do module to add stat add stat player stat name i'll just name this test stat and then the value set it to you can set this to a number or a string i'm just going to set this to um 999 so we go in here after five seconds it'll add a stat up here called test stat 999 and you can go here leader stats test stat and then you leave and then you rejoin and it's still here and it's still in the folder because it saves automatically now the get data function is pretty much the same as the module get data except you're doing it from the client since you don't want the server to access it because if the server can access this module then they can edit the data and you don't want that that's why it's in here and this if you call this it'll only return the data for reading purposes not editing purposes so to show you how to use it you just do you just wait five seconds you can do game or print game dot replicate storage dot get data which is this function invoke server game dot players dot local player dot name and then you wait and play and you wait five seconds and then it prints it down here and you see you have test dictionary test table and all your data so you can use this for if you want to display the player's inventory on like a gui you can just get it like that if you want to display different stuff like their stats if it's not up here you can do it like that so that's pretty much it if